This video is a general step-by-step -step guide for using Biotechni antibodies to stain membrane-associated proteins in suspended cells in preparation for flow cytometry analysis. In this protocol, we are using suspended cells. Phenotyping suspended cells based on antigens present on the cell membrane is one of the most common uses for flow cytometry. Because membrane proteins are readily accessible to the antibody, permeabilization steps are not required. Experimental conditions like antibody concentration, incubation time, and temperature should be optimized for each experiment. This protocol has been developed and optimized by the R&D Systems Flow Cytometry Laboratory for the staining of membrane-associated proteins. Biotechni offers more than 87,000 antibodies as well as resources for flow cytometry through our brands R&D Systems and Novus Biologicals. Products and information can be found at rndsystems.com forward slash flow cytometry and novusbio.com forward slash flow cytometry. There are a few things to keep in mind before we begin. First, be sure to wear personal protective equipment and refer to the safety data sheet on our website prior to use. Next, if staining peripheral blood cells, collect the blood in evacuated tubes containing EDTA or heparin as the anticoagulant. If you're using blood samples, cell lines, or activated cell cultures, additional sample preparation is required. Follow your protocol and the steps on the screen to prepare your samples. In this protocol, we are using R&D Systems Flow Cytometry Staining Buffer, which is isotonic phosphate buffer supplemented with 0.5% BSA. This can be purchased on our website under catalog number FC-001. All centrifuging steps in this protocol should be completed at 1250 to 1500 RPM or 300 to 500 Gs for five minutes. You may need to pre-treat adherent cell lines with 0.5 millimolar EDTA to remove them from their substrates. Cells that require trypsinization to enable removal from their substrates should be further incubated in medium for 6 to 10 hours on a rocker platform to prevent reattachment to the substrate. It's also important to perform titration experiments to determine optimal reagent amounts. If you haven't done so already, take some time to think about the number of samples you will run. Include unstained cells and isotype controls or other controls as needed for your experiment. Label your fax tubes and arrange them in a tube rack. Harvest your cells, and on the last wash step, resuspend the cells at 1 million cells per 100 microliters of flow cytometry staining buffer. Aliquot 100 microliters into each fax tube. At this point, you may want to FC block cells with blocking IgG. Add 1 microgram IgG per 1 million cells. vortex tubes and then incubate for 15 minutes at room temperature. FC block is a way to prevent the nonspecific binding of your antibody of interest to cells expressing FC receptors, such as monocytes and B cells. At the end of the incubation time, do not wash excess blocking IgG from the reaction. Now add conjugated antibody concentrated at 5 to 10 microliters per million cells or a previously titrated amount and vortex. Incubate the cells for 30 minutes at room temperature in the dark. Remove any unbound antibody by washing the cells in 2 milliliters of flow cytometry staining buffer. Next, centrifuge the cells. If staining whole blood, use a pipette to remove the wash buffer following centrifugation rather than decanting. Next, resuspend the cells by vortexing, then add 2 milliliters of flow cytometry staining buffer and repeat the centrifugation. If you're using whole blood, red blood cells should be lysed at this point. To do this, add 2 milliliters of R&D Systems 1x human or mouse lyse buffer to each tube. Both may be purchased on our website under catalog numbers FC002 and FC003, respectively. After adding the lice buffer, vortex and incubate in the dark at room temperature for 10 minutes. Centrifuge and wash the cells in flow cytometry staining buffer as before. If an unconjugated primary antibody was used, a conjugated secondary antibody will need to be used. Add 5 to 10 microliters per tube and vortex. 
Incubate the cells for 30 minutes at room temperature in the dark, then repeat the wash step as before. Resuspend cells in 200 to 400 microliters of flow cytometry staining buffer for flow cytometry analysis. This concludes our video guide for staining membrane-associated proteins in suspended cells in preparation for flow cytometry analysis. For more helpful protocols, subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more information about biotechnic flow cytometry antibodies, buffers, and reagents, visit our websites rndsystems.com forward slash flow cytometry and novusbio.com forward slash flow cytometry or contact us.